What's up, guys? Matt back with you today, aka Elks Paper. Got something new for the reviewing table. I have the Dudenberg Atomizer by Fight Club Mods. I did receive this from a guy named Tark Vermada. I got this on uh, for the purpose of uh, doing a review on it. Okay, you can purchase one of these yourself from a place called Modern World. I believe they range for $199.95. Okay, this is a Genesis style atomizer. Now, I just have to tell you real quick, this sucker provides some of the best flavor IMO that I've ever seen out of a Jenny take. So, this is a must try, guys. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful atomizer. Okay. This is made of 304 grade stainless steel. The top cap screws on and off. And, you know, with that, you'll never need to change an O-ring uh, in your life. So that's kind of a neat feature. It is a 22 mil device. So, again, it'll sit nice and flush on all of your 22 mil devices. Um, it holds quite a bit of e-liquid. I believe it holds uh, three and a half mils. Let me let me just take a quick vague, guys. Let's Let's... Check the sucker out. Let's dive down, shall we? Okay, guys, welcome back. I have dissected the atomizer into these um, components. Okay, first off, I just want to show you the box this came in. It says Dudenberg Fight Club Mods. Okay, serial number 15. It's pretty neat. Just thought I'd show you. Okay. All right. Now the atomizer itself. We'll start with the top cap. Um, it says Dudenberg. Let me see if I can get this in better focus, guys. Dudenberg. It's got the the picture of the knuckles on there. Now, from what I understand, they also do have a matching a drip tip that also has the knuckles on it. Um, that can be uh, purchased separately. Okay, now on the Modern World website. All right, the inside of the cap. Pretty pretty ordinary. Now it's got the threading inside. That's what uh, screws down. All right, you have your little air hole there on the side. Um, I believe this is a 1.2 mil air hole. Now the finish on this is, uh, well, it's, uh, it's kind of like a matte finish. Very nice, though. You don't have to worry about touching it and, you know, leaving all your fingerprints all over it. So, okay. The the tank portion itself, you got a brass pin down there. It is, again, it's serialized, number 15. Okay. The threading is uh, super smooth. Screws together without any problems. Okay. Inside the tank, as you can see. See your little pin down there. All right, this again holds three and a half mils of e juice. Okay, now we're going to take our deck. And we're going to screw that in there. Now you have to, when you do this, to make sure. Let me pull that back out. That you line up your uh, your wick hole with your your top deck hole. Um, Mine actually matches up with my numbers on the bottom. The first number is zero. So I line up my wick hole with that. Pretty close. All right, so we'll screw down the bottom there. Okay, in the beginning, as you saw, I, I was getting plenty of vapor. Um, this is, I was using a U-Wick, okay? Now, when you do receive this, uh, your fill hole uh, it does come with a screw that is attached or screwed down there. Basically, what I did was I took the screw out and used it uh, for the other portion of my U-Wick, and I mean, I've just found that the, the flavor that this thing gives off is absolutely incredible. And then I just kind of put
put the UIC right over the the center post there, and I mean it just it just worked superb. Okay, I'll pull that out now. I pulled it out nice and easy because I'm gonna reuse that. I just was working that good. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna go through the whole you know rewicking process and you know recoiling it and. Okay, so we'll put that aside. Okay, um, the uh, the wick hole itself is a 2.6 millimeter hole. Again, uh, this is set up or excuse me, designed for a single um, a single coil setup. Okay, but again, I did remove the other screw for the fill hole, and that's where I I put my U wick over. And uh, it seemed to just soak up enough juice that, you know, I haven't received, gotten any uh, dry hits off it. Now, I, I mean, I guess you could use uh, silica or cotton. Um, but I, in, you know, just the recent days, I guess I, I have converted into mesh. So the mesh is working really well for me. So I guess I'm going to stick with that. Okay. Now your top cap basically just screws right on there. makes a really nice fit I haven't I haven't had any problems with this thing leaking at all um, it just make sure it's you know snugged up there and and the top is snugged up I found a drip tip that worked out pretty well kind of matched it and and that's what I've been using um, I had it sitting on uh, my biomech limited edition in the beginning when you saw me vaping it Now, it didn't 100% sit flush, but I think that's what I liked about it. It just kind of looked nice for me, though. So, again, I want to thank uh, Tark, if you're watching this. Thank you for uh, sending this to Michael Mag, and, and then uh, it got to me. So, thank you. Um, the rest of you, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, if you are in, anybody is interested in it, you can find them at modandworld.com. Uh, and I appreciate you guys watching it. Um, have a great day. Vape on, vape proudly. Um, you can always uh, comment and leave uh, in the description below. Comment, please. Uh, like and subscribe. All that good jazz. And we'll, we'll see you on the next review. Thanks, guys.